Jesus focused on his assignment. He always acknowledged what was he's assigned to do. But when opportunities came up along the way to help those who weren't necessarily in his assignment, he still gave them some help because they were genuine persons who needed help. Yes, although Jesus realized it wasn't yet the time to expand the work, he was willing to reach out to these ones as well. So what's the lesson for all of us? Well, when you go to your assignments, you will have specific assignments. Now, if it's in a Bethel or in the field, uh, you'll know what your assignment is. So don't start looking at all the other assignments that are around and how you can help them and what you need to do and oh, why don't they change? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you've changed a lot in the last few months, but remember, they haven't. Mm? <laughs> and they survived without you. Mm? <laughs> so what's the key? Focus on your assignment. Be zealous, be enthusiastic, but also be patient. Yes, have trust in Jehovah that if you focus on your assignment, you work hard, you take up whatever opportunities come your way along the way, then you can be sure you will be blessed because you're enthusiastic, but also patient. Well, now with those thoughts in mind... We've just been hearing from Governing Body member Jeffrey Jackson hosting the 152nd Gilead graduation which took place last year. His theme, Be Enthusiastic But Be Patient. I've condensed down his talk to just that one and a half minute clip because to be completely honest, it was a bit boring. But I did find one or two comments just towards the end there very telling in terms of the nature of the organization. This is very much an assignment-based organization. We're going to see later on in the program them specifically allude to ranks within the organization. It's all about so-called privileges or effectively titles that get given to Jehovah's Witnesses based on how much they are impressing the organization, how much they're able to give, how much they're able to sacrifice. But what I found most interesting was the part where Jeffrey Jackson said, yeah, I mean, you've changed a lot in the last few months, but remember, they haven't. Hmm? <laughs> and they survived without you. They survived without you. My question would be, for Jeffrey Jackson, Imagine Jeffrey Jackson watching this. My question would be, can't the same be said of any Jehovah's Witness anywhere when it comes to the governing body? They're all surviving. They're all doing okay. People who aren't Jehovah's Witnesses, people who have stopped being Jehovah's Witnesses like myself, we are surviving. We're doing okay. And yet here's an organization that routinely claims that you can't get through mundane situations such as disasters, such as COVID, such as bereavement, without having faith as a Jehovah's Witness, without acknowledging the authority of individuals like Jeffrey Jackson. So my question would be, can't it be said that anyone can essentially survive without having their beliefs dictated to them by the governing body.